I'm going to talk about how I made this clock and I'm going to show a few tricks to make it work well. Hey guys, I'm Jacques. So I made this 3D printed clock and I want to talk a little bit more about it. Earlier I made this prototype and the biggest challenge is getting the escapement right, square, and this gear. So, let's do it. I used two sheets of plywood for the back, just like so. I drilled a hole using the frames as a template and then drill the second sheet with bigger holes for the nuts and then glue everything together. Okay now let's put it together. Put the threaded rods and some of the parts already. Put the guides together with the string. pieces at the back so start putting the frames together just hand tight the escapement is those pallets that comes screwed on make sure that it swings Free on the on the shaft. That's to hook up the pendulum. Notice the warp on the escape wheel. So I made this jig to set it up better. I start tightening up lightly the screws, and then I'm going to work out the escape wheel. The idea is to move sideways, see how it push with the thumb and try to improve it. It's getting better. Better, tighten up. And then the finish touch, I use a file, I lock it with a block of wood and I finish the Now that's much better. Okay, let's continue. Like that's the the second display dial. Screw it all together. Let me check it. Make sure it's not too bad. Yeah, that's good. Tighten up the screws. Okay, now I can mount the escape wheel in the frame with that spacer. And now the second dial, I'm going to check the, the backlash. There's not enough backlash, I had a spacer. Check it all around at many places. Okay, that's good. Now I can put the, the rest of the gears. Now I'm going to the main shaft. I glued the, the pulley. That's the distance you want to the back. So just need to screw the two halves and the pulley together like I said I glued them because it was turning on the shaft then that gear on the front just knock it in place the front face, it's three different places that are uh, three different pieces that are just bolted together and two, two uh, brackets on the back. Okay, that's the rewind mechanism. 
those three shafts, that's the ratchet. And the gear with the, okay, the pulley, one half, second half, bolt everything together. Make sure the, the bolts don't stick out and catch. Okay, that's how it works. So now I need to put the string on, put the washer on the back, put the sides. This one is a bit tight, I have to remove the rod. Install the rewind mechanism at the bottom. I check much yeah it's good I want some play now I can put the frame check the this and play install the escapement the rod front face together just tight the face the hands there's two different parts the the black part is glued into the gray part and then the pulley on the rope with those little brackets so it works better. Now I'm going to show you how I made the knot on the string. Pull up, cut it, pull out the core on a few inches, 10 centimeters. Cut the core off. Pull the outer sleeve back in place. some super glue just to make sure it doesn't get loose make, it, make sure it's tight and then cap the main this is to give an idea of the length of the pendulum And now it's time to hang up the clock. Just like so. I have three and a half pound on the drive side and about half pound on the tension side. 